we have clearly highlighted the ethical, the equity, and the larger dimensions that really should motivate us to take action. And one of them certainly relates to those parts of the world which are really vulnerable and are in fact suffering already. One of the points that I'd like to put forward is the clear finding that we brought out in a special report in 2011, and which we've also included in the fifth assessment report, the fact that extreme events are on the increase, and two types of extreme events in particular, heat waves and extreme precipitation events. Now, I certainly can't scientifically link any single event to human-induced climate change, but the aggregation, the trend, and the entire picture that's now before us, and observations going back over time, clearly show that the intensity and frequency of these extreme events is on the increase. And if we don't do anything about this problem, then clearly these are going to become far more difficult to manage. So much so that in some parts of the world, we would see that those heat waves which currently take place once in 20 years, by the end of the century, could occur once in two years. So, <clears throat> looking at some of the most vulnerable regions in the world, and the fact that they are inhabited by some of the poorest sections of human society, there is obviously a moral dimension to the problem, which we've highlighted in the fifth assessment report of the IPCC. In fact, I might mention the synthesis report in its 50-odd authors had a philosopher. Because, you know, this is not something which relates only to hard science, where you only look at the physical basis. There's human society which has to be taken into account. And that's what we've tried to do. And I think this is where the world has to understand that we've got to take action and take that action early. Because otherwise, the impacts of climate change are going to become so difficult, we could be crossing thresholds and tipping points beyond which we would not be able to retrace our steps.